Today I want to talk about the standard Arnold shader. It's a beautiful shader with so many options and varieties that we can uh, forget some of the features we've appreciated with the Maya shaders so much, like uh, specularity, transparency, etc. Uh, Arnold is much more modern and does a great job here. If you have any kind of object, right mouse click and assign new material. Now you have the selection of all shaders you can apply, the layer shader in Maya, the Lambert. I created a scene which uh, has uh, low render settings and so you, you'll see a lot of noise in, this, uh, in the rendering. Typical rendering time was uh, between 10 seconds and a minute. And this is the default Lambert shader applied to the scene. The scene has two lights, a global light from uh, Arnold of course with a low intensity and a pretty strong planar light from the left. It's a spherical harmonics object which I uh, warped a little bit to make the rendering in more interesting. So this is the standard Lambert shader. It comes in grey and it looks grey and totally unshiny which is good for many purposes and this was the start St the starting point for millions of Maya animations and tests uh, during the last 20 years. Now, um, if you click on the Arnold section, there will be much less choices here. And uh, for example, if you need to shade an object from two sides, basically if you have a sphere, for example, and you open it a little bit and uh, in the rendering you see the inside, and the outside, then you would use a two-sided shader and uh, to plug in um, ordinary shaders from the outside and for the inside, you would typically choose the standard surface shader. I think it was called differently in Maya 2017, but now we're Maya 2018. And this is what we're going to talk about, the standard uh, Arnold shader. It looks like this the color is not gray as the standard Maya shader, how it starts. It starts white. You see a little dot here in the preview, um, in the swatch as they call it. And the reason is the specularity. Here you see the specular um, weight and it's set to 1. If you reduce it to 0, watch out what's happening to the point here, the white point. It disappears, so the object won't be as shiny anymore. The default um, Arnold surface shader looks like this if you apply nothing to it. And if you turn down the uh, specularity, it looks like this. Here I introduced a, a simple ramp going from blue at the bottom to white at the top of the object in order to make it look a little bit more interesting. Of course, keep in mind the rendering times were uh, pretty short, so I didn't invest a lot of time into um, the render settings. Uh, Arnold does a, qu a very quick job, job here. It's a, basically an IPR quick render. So let's go to specularity, ordinary specularity, then you can pump up the metalness uh, to make the object look much more metal-like. You have other things here like the transmission. If you pump the transmission weight up, it looks like this. We have colors in transmission, we can uh, uh, choose a different depth of transmission, etc. Lots of parameters. And we have uh, the really amazing subsurface scattering. It seems to have a, a subsurface, a surface under, underneath the surface. And pretty close to this is the coat. It's a coating, the coating material like in a uh, lacquer. And uh, here you have an em emission. The emission uh, 
makes the object look as if it was a light source without the typical post-production glow around it but look at what uh, the object does to the surface where it stands on it really seems to glow another thing similar to coating but much more delicate in terms of rendering is the thin film here you see the default setting and uh, further down here is the mat if you enable the mat the rendering will be flat towards the camera which is a cartoon like rendering and which can come in handy in more abstract works for example keep playing with the Arnold shaders and keep in mind if you do a batch rendering that means an official sort of rendering and you only have the test version just uh, like I have you will see a watermark in the rendering so don't be too disappointed but in the IPR view you will always see a watermark free image like the image here <laughs>